Hi guys and welcome to episode 4 of Girl With Camera, the series of photo tutorials for those of you who like photo tutorials but don't want to get bogged down in technical details and maybe don't appreciate bikini models running around in the background. So in today's photo tutorial we are shooting double exposures on this little beauty which is a 35mm film camera. It's a Pentax Me Super which has been handed down generations to Jack and I've nicked it for this little photo tutorial. A double exposure is basically shooting over a roll of film, then rewinding the film and shooting over it again. So you basically get two photos overlaid on top of each other, thus the double exposure bit. Today is Guy Fawkes night in England, which means there's going to be a lot of fireworks going on, perhaps some bonfires, so I thought it might be pretty neat to try and take photos of fireworks and overlay portraits over the top of them. We have tried this before, I think, way back when, but let's see if we can improve on that. So here's a quick run through of the settings that I'm going to use. I have a roll of ISO 400 film in the camera. This camera is a little nifty, so you can double the ISO, which is what I'm doing because it's going to be pretty darn dark out there. So that's an ISO of 800. Then I'm setting the f-stop on the lens to the lowest possible f-stop, which is f1.7, just to get as much light in as possible. Might be a slight issue with the focus, but we can probably make that work. Then I'm just setting the shutter speed to a speed that is high enough so that the fireworks aren't smudged but low enough that enough light is getting let in. This little camera is, again, nifty, so it tells you when an image is over or underexposed, so I'm just underexposing it at one over 60 seconds for shutter speed. The reason I'm slightly underexposing it is because we're double exposing all of these shots, which means a lot of light is gonna come in, so a slight underexposure probably works a little bit better, although you can get cool effects with overexposed photos, but that's not the look I'm going for today. the fireworks now and we have one more thing to take pictures of for the double exposure which is these sparklers. Alright so it's day two and we have shot a full roll of film mostly on fireworks, although I hear Jack stole the camera and took a picture of a cactus as well, so don't know how that's gonna work with the double exposures. And today, I'm shooting the second round of the double exposures, so I'm gonna take lots of portraits, probably of Jack's face mostly, because he hangs out with me, um, and see how that works over the fireworks. Obviously, not gonna find out what it looks like till we get the film developed, but fingers crossed it turns out okay. Okay, we've had a slight hiccup with trying to rewind the film. It seems to be a little bit stuck. So we're going to try and go to the camera store now to get them to fix it and hopefully extract the film. Otherwise, this puts a slight spanner in our works. So we went to Boots to try and find out what the problem was. And we got assisted by the nicest guy ever. And 
<laughs> informed us that we had actually managed to somehow rip the film inside um, the camera, which is why it wasn't rewinding. So he's put it in a black canister for us. Um, and then this is the canister that it was supposed to be. So what we're going to have to do is go to a camera store and see if they can wind it onto a canister that we can then use in the body of the film to re-expose the film. So it's a couple of days later now and we may have fixed the problem. Jack took the film to Snappy Snaps. Is it Snappy Snaps or Happy Snaps? And they kindly rolled the film into a new canister. Or is it the same canister? New canister. Um, and so I'm now going to load the film into the camera and hopefully take the double exposures. Although the film's now been out of the canister three times, hopefully in a dark room, but I'm sure it affected somehow, so we might have some funky effects in there. So, with the Emmy Super, you have to open the back, which you do by lifting this, the little toggle, and pulling it up. And then you insert the film onto the left, and then you pull it out and tuck it in here and then you wind it on and take a photo and then you wind it on and take a photo and then you close the back and then you wind it on and take a photo until you reach zero. So this one has just come home with the developed photos, haven't you? I have. I've not seen them yet. Can you see them, please? Um, I'm the producer, so yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to see this because I literally have no idea how they turned out and we had such a nightmare getting um, them developed and even doing the double exposure because we can rewind the film, so this is exciting! Let's see... Ooh, this looks good. Some of them anyway. Looks pretty cool actually. Oh look, this is you peeking out from the back. That's quite cool, I quite like that one actually. Okay, so some of these turned out really cool. Um, I really like the ones with the sparklers. It turns out it's a bit better when there's like a smaller source of light. The ones where there's uh, where the fireworks have taken up the whole image, you can't really see the other picture that well. Although there are some gems where you can just see the silhouette or like a trace of the person's face and the fireworks over the top, which is quite cool. So yeah, overall I'm pretty pleased with them. Well, like a handful of them, <laughs> which is all we really wanted. So yeah, pretty happy. This is my favorite photo. It's just a photo of me in the tube with a photo of sparklers laid over the top. And it's just really cool because it, it just looks like a weird lighting effect over quite a normal portrait. So I quite like that one. My second favorite is this photo of Jack, which is overlaid on top of some fireworks. And I like it because you can just about see his silhouette and it looks like he's creeping up behind the smoke. Then I can't decide between this set and this set. Basically, I really like this set because it's just like this ghost version of Jack's face over kind of this psychedelic playground ride. And then I quite like this one because it just looks like, as Jack described it, as if miniature people had set off fireworks next to my face. So yeah, those are kind of my top favorites out of the ones we took. You have a film camera to hand doing double exposures is pretty easy basically you just take a full roll of film of photos and you wind the film back up and then you put the film back in your camera and take photos over the same film again 
Um, you can experiment with different subjects. I always like to do it with some sort of subject and then portraits over the top because I think it makes them interesting. Fireworks work all right, except when um, the whole image is lit up with a firework that like doesn't seem to bring out the picture at all which makes sense because the full frame of that film is exposed so you're not really getting any of the other image coming through but I didn't really think about that when I was taking the picture so lesson learned but anyway thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and you enjoyed the results if you feel like trying it at home then let me know I'd love to see the results and if you like this video, give it a little like. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. And leave a comment below if you have any suggestions with stuff to try on Girl With Camera. See you in the next one, guys.